teachers and students from National Research University, Harris School of Economics. We exchange students from School of Economics, Shanghai University. It's a great honor for us to have this opportunity to share the information about our university and our faculty. My name is Sun Yi De. My name is Ma Tongqing, and you can also call me Allison. And now let's begin our presentation. Firstly, I will introduce Shanghai University. Located in the Yangtze River Delta in eastern China, Shanghai sits at the mouth of Yangtze River in the modern section of the Chinese coast and is known as the largest economic and commercial center of China. Modern Shanghai has three key attractions of interest to visitors, namely sightseeing, business potentials, and entertainment. It's widely acknowledged as the showpiece of the booming economy of China. Immersed in the distinguished heritage and pioneering track record in a leading global city, Shanghai University is situated in the heart of Shanghai. Shanghai University is one of the top 20 Chinese universities, top 100 Asian universities, the premier university of Shanghai, and a member of China Project 211 universities. It's a comprehensive university offering 94 undergraduate programs, 100 graduate programs, and 94 doctoral programs in various disciplines, including science, humanities, humanities social science, engineering, economics and management, art, and etc. The university currently has 18,021 graduate students, 19,921 undergraduate students, and 2,268 internal students. Students graduate from Shanghai University are widely welcomed by employers from various firms and companies. The employment rate approaches 22.23% for undergraduates aides and 94.89% for masters. Based on the contribution of our top level faculty and diligent students, Shanghai University has achieved collaboration with 243 universities in 54 nations and regions, managing five Confucius Institutes with partners in North America, Europe, Asia, and etc. After years of develop development, the layout of Shanghai University today conforms to the shape of one body, two wings. One body refers to the main campus located in Shanghai's Baoshan district, covering an area of nearly 150 hectares. Most colleges and schools, research institutes, comprehensive academic platforms, and academic exchange centers are at Baoshan. Two wings refers to the center, uh, refers to Yanchang campus and Jiading campus. Yanchang campus is located in the Jing'an district, which is the center of Shanghai. It's being developed into a production, study, and research base that mainly consists of research institutes, the university science parks, parks, and new and high-tech development zones. Jiading campus aims to accommodate the international cooperative college and to develop the, inter the industrialization base of Shanghai University's national science parks. Shanghai University has perfect internal infrastructure, including four comprehensive libraries, four sports fields, three stadiums with swimming pools inside, six basketball courts, and 10 dining halls. Shanghai University is a young, dynamic, and fashionable university. It has invited many outstanding celebrities from different fields as vis visiting professors for students. For instance, Xu Xin, the world champion of table tennis, and Zhang Jie, one of the most famous musicians in China. In addition, a film based on the history of Shanghai University was shot in our campus this year, which is starred by Wang Yuan, one of the most popular stars in China. The movie is scheduled for release next year. At last, let's watch a video about Shanghai University. Hi. 
This is Shanghai, the most cosmopolitan metropolis in China. Shanghai University, located in and named after the city, is rising as a landmark of Shanghai. The history of Shanghai University can be traced back to 1922 through 1927, during an era of cultural renaissance and political revolution. In 1994, Shanghai University was resurrected through the merger of four institutions: the world-renowned scientist and educator Professor Qian Huizhang served as the founding president. Under his leadership and based on his philosophy, the university kicked off a new era of innovation and prosperity. Shanghai University is a leading university in China. Supported by the National Double First Class Initiative, it is a comprehensive, research-intensive university, covering a full range of disciplines, including science and engineering, humanities and social sciences, management and economics, film and arts, as well as medicine. Shanghai University has a body of 6,000 faculties and staff. Including six academicians from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Chinese Academy of Engineering, 16 foreign academicians, and 100 plus distinguished professors, the university has an enrollment of over 38,000 students. As one of the fastest growing universities, Shanghai University is ranked as the 16th best university in China and is placed in the top 400 around the world. The university has ten disciplines, entering the top one percent of the ESI global rankings, while material science and chemistry are approaching the top one thousand. Engineering has already reached the top one thousand. With its cutting-edge innovations in science and technology, Shanghai University actively responds to the challenges and demands of China and the wider international community. The first to develop China's single-mode optical fiber, the pioneer in China's jet metallurgy technology, the leading researcher of robotics among universities in China, the first to apply graphene in treating organic pollutants. In the field of material sciences, Shanghai University successfully introduced the use of carbon and carbon composites in the aviation and aerospace industries. In mechanical engineering, the Jinhai series of unmanned surface vessels have fulfilled their mission in major scientific explorations of China. In telecommunications, the university takes the lead in broadband amplification specialty fiber technology. In basic research, Shanghai University faculty has continuously published their original findings in many top academic journals, such as Nature and Science. Shanghai University is also acclaimed in fluid mechanics, in nano and biological materials, in new display technology, and in quantum physics. Shanghai University is a pioneer in many fields of humanities and social sciences. It is the first university to recover the sociology department after the reform and opening up of China. Following closely during the urban transformation and social development in China, Shanghai University has formed its own paradigm of new urban sociology. It is the first university in China to establish the program in cultural studies and to propose the study of national origins. The university also boasts the first management school and the first international joint business school in China, with the accreditation of AACSB. And AMBA. It is also the first Chinese university to develop full cooperation with the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Shanghai University takes a lead in art education with a distinctive Shanghai-style culture. It is a major contributor to the city's artistic landscape. It also excels in urban public art and international contemporary arts. The twin Shanghai University institutions, Shanghai Film Academy and Shanghai Vancouver Film School, have produced numerous talents for the film industry, both home and abroad. 
Shanghai University is committed to frontier science and interdisciplinary research in biomedical engineering, artificial intelligence, integrated circuits, cultural relics, and museums. The university is partnered with the municipal government in creating a national science and technology park, as well as a city-leading film and TV industrial park. Shanghai University recognizes the value of developing outstanding talents for this society. It is pioneered in the credit system, liberal arts education, and instigated multinational joint ventures. Academically, students have brought home prestigious awards, including meritorious winner in mathematical contest and modeling, the grand prize in the Challenge Cup, and the gold award in China Robot Competition, plus many more individual and team awards. On the sports field, athletes have made remarkable achievements in the international competitions, such as the Olympic Games and Tennis Masters Cup. They were also crowned champions in the Asian Athletics Championship, National Athletics Championship, and Wushu Championship. Meanwhile, Shanghai University provides students with a wide range of clubs and societies, enhancing their consciousness of cooperation and responsibility while enriching their life on campus. To date, Shanghai University has graduated large numbers of excellent alumni. Each year, about 25% of all graduates are recruited by Fortune 500 companies, while 22% are admitted to further programs at top universities in China and around the world. Internationalization, as a key strategy, empowers the university to become a leading institution across the globe. There are now more than 240 international partners, including Rutgers University, Loughborough University, University of Queensland, and Tohoku University, focusing on co-teaching, student mobility, and research collaboration. The university has three international joint venture schools formed in the fields of engineering, arts, and business. So far. Five overseas educational institutes have been established in collaboration with universities in Asia, Europe, and America. With its growing global prestige, Shanghai University hosts not only top-level international conferences, such as the Shanghai Archaeology Forum, but also major international academic associations, such as the Asian Demographic Research Institute. Shanghai University is now a truly international university. A place where knowledge and wisdom collide, east and west meet. Scholars and students converge and communicate. Shanghai University, a university that stands for striving for excellence, humility in being, and undauntedness in doing, will join the ranks of world-class universities in creating a better future for all. Okay. After the video, let's move to the next part. The introduction of school of economics. Um, at this part, you it may look a little different from the first part, due to the color. The color green is the symbolic color of sh of school of economics, so we choose the color green. Okay. Let's start the second part. The introduction of our faculty, school of economics. The School of Economics of Shanghai University, adhering to the motto of continuous self-renewal, to benefit the world and the people, with the vision of building a domestically first-class and international renowned research-oriented economic school, with distinctive characteristics, aims at cultivating international outstanding talents, who not only have Patriotic feelings and professional spirit, but also can undertake the task of enforcing the country and enriching the people. The school of economics consists of three entities: 
you can have a look on screen. The Department of Economics, the Department of Finance, and the Industrial Economic Economy Research Center, as well as a number of research institutions, such as Institute of New Structural Economics, China Digital Economy Institute, China Service Economy Research Center, New Financial Information Research Center, and Government Efficiency Research Center. The School of Economics of Shanghai University was established during the restructuring of the former School of International Business and Management in July 2008. Its predecessors include the School of Economics and Management of Shanghai University of Technology, the School of International Business of Shanghai University, and the School of Business Administration of Shanghai University. At present, the school has more than 100 faculty members, of which professional teachers account for about 80%. Pro processors, professors account for about 15%, and the percent of associate professors is nearly 40%. Among the professional teachers, more than 80% have an educational background of study abroad for more than one year. They are fully qualified for a task of teaching English, and they realize professional, comprehensive, and systematic teaching of economics majors for Chinese students and ensure the high quality teaching for international students. At the same time, the School of Economics also held a number of outstanding scholars, such as Professor Justin Yifu Lin, the Dean of the Institute of New Cultural Economics of Peking University, Professor Robert Merton of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the winner of the 1997 Nobel Prize in Economics, Professor Vladimir L. Kuntz of Moscow University, the Academy the of the Academy of the Russian Academy of Science, to provide support for the undergraduates and graduate training. The School of Economics also ha has also hired more than sixty senior professionals from financial trade, industrial, and commercial institutions, even the government departments, to serve as off-campus tutors. In terms of scientific research, the teachers of the school has undertaken more than 100 scientific research projects in recent years, including the National Natural Science Foundation of China, the National Philosophy and Social Science Foundation Project, the Ministry of Education, Humanities and Social Science Research Project, the Shanghai Social Science Fund Project, and the Shanghai Decision Consult Consultation Project. It also has published a number of academic monographs and more than 500 Chinese and English papers in core journals at home and abroad achieved dozens of domestic and foreign academic awards. Um, the school now has more than 600 undergraduates, more than 700 masters and doctoral students, as well as more than 450 international students from different countries and regions. The school has two all-English teaching undergraduate majors in international economics and trade econ and trade economics two out teaching professional masters major in finance and international business and one all english teaching academic masters major in international trade the school also has opened a large number of english teaching courses for all students to ensure 
keeping the pace of international high quality teaching. And at present, the finance major has been approved as a national first class undergraduate major, and the economics major has been approved as a Shanghai first class undergraduate major. Um, our school has three first level master's programs in theoretical economics, applied economics, and statistics, two professional master's programs in finance and international business, as you can see on screen. This is our this is this are our master programs if you are interested in it. Oh when it comes to the doctoral program. Uh, School of, Econom of Economics also has the first doctoral program in applied economics among universities in Shanghai. It covers nine secondary disciplines of national economics, regional economics, finance, inter uh, industrial economics, international trade, labor economics, quantitative economics, and national defense economics, as well as the only the only postdoctoral mobile station in applied economics. Um, according to the QS World University subject rankings, our school, SOE, ranks 351 to 400 in the world for this subject, economics and econometrics, and ranks 17th in mainland China. Business and management ranks 301 to 350 in the world and 11th in mainland China. In the Wu Shulian ranking, Shanghai University's economics subject was, was rated as A, ranking among the top 5% of national universities. At present, the School of Economics has established 34 internship bases with many well-known enterprises like Bank of China and the Bank of Communications. As we have introduced, we have our very high employment rate, which is above 90%. We also, uh, the school also has established cooperative relations with more than 50 overseas universities and five student exchange programs sponsored by China Scholarship Council. Every year, the School of Economics welcomes or participates in the reception of foreign scholars and university representatives from more than 20 countries and regions, including Russia, the United States, Australia, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Argentina, Romania, R Romania, and etc. to discuss cooperation in joint research, teacher-student exchange, lecture teaching, and other co cooperation content. This enhances the overseas reputation of our school and the school's external influence. This also expands the space for our international cooperation. The School of Economics actively develops cooperation and exchange with domestic and foreign universities. In terms of international exchange, our school has established teacher-student exchange and academic exchange relationships with famous business schools in Europe Russia and other regions or countries. In terms of academic exchange, the school regularly invites well-known foreign scholars to give academic lectures and sponsors young teachers to participate in high-level academic conferences at home and abroad. It also dispatches teachers to foreign universities to teach economics and management courses and conduct short-term lectures or cooperative research. 
we can see lots of pictures about those programs and conferences. Um, that's all for our introduction about our university and school. Thank you for listening. You're welcome if you have any questions. Yes, thank you for your precious time. Um, any comments or thank questions? You for, your good for your great presentation, I wanted to ask uh, one quick question. You are here for about, uh, I don't know, two weeks or a month. Uh, can you compare Shanghai University School of Economics and uh, HEC University Faculty of Economic Sciences? Like, uh, do you find it similar or do you find a lot of differences? Please. Uh, yeah, well, I think that the what is there is this, be honest. You need to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, we must be honest. <laughs> I think what is the similar is this, what is similar. Uh, I think like the international um, environment is similar. Like we have lots of um, English courses in HSE, and we also have lots of in English like programs in Shanghai University, which is really international, and I think it's really nice for uh, international students. And we also have many exchange programs, um, and that's that's also why we are here. And yet, yeah, we think that this is uh, the similarities, and uh, we really love this kind of atmosphere. Uh, and we also, uh, of course, there are some differences. Uh, like uh, HSE is uh, uh, is very good at economic, uh, which is uh, which the uh, where the economic is the strength is a strength uh, major in HSE. Well, Shanghai University is a uh, like comprehensive university, and uh, maybe we'll have lots of uh, other projects and other majors which are more popular uh, than maybe economics. So I think it's the difference uh, of the uh, prof professional part. And something, uh, and uh, another thing that is totally different is like the life here, because uh, the dormitory is really far away from our classrooms and uh, school buildings, but in Shanghai University, you can just go to the dining hall, the playground, the classrooms directly after you go up downstairs of your dormitories. Yes, and actually, I think uh, if it's closer, it will be easier for us because we have to take lots of time to get to the classrooms every day, which is really tired. <laughs> yeah, and what do you want to see? Um, for me. Uh, I find it's the most similar point uh, is that uh, these two schools, uh, these two universities, are both strict with uh, their students' study. Oh yeah, uh, because I have experienced some classes uh, in HSE, and teacher hmm, uh, is very hardworking, and uh, every time I need to uh, go to class on time, and I need to ask questions uh, one. Uh, the class is uh, is going on, um, and in in China, uh, in Shanghai University, I also have to do this. Uh, when I'm I'm when I'm having classes, and the different points I think is that uh, Shanghai University uh, is a, a little bigger. I I just mean the I just mean the space the space because. Um, uh, if I want to go to uh, one door from another door in Shanghai University, in Shanghai University, it may uh, take about thirty minutes. I, I think by uh, just by foot uh, or by bicycle, it may cost uh, fifty minutes. But in HSC, um, it may cost me ten minutes from one gate to another gate. Uh, I just mean the space uh, is a little different, uh, but. But um, but HSE University uh, gives me a feeling of exquisite, very exquisite. Uh, the building, I mean, the building and the uh, decorate, uh, it's really e exquisite. I think, yeah, that's my that's my that's my feeling. 
Yeah, uh, I, I think. Thank you very much. I wanted to ask uh, before I forget. Sorry, you uh, showed the slide with the master programs. Could you please comment? For example, if someone who does not know any uh, Chinese, would they be able to take these uh, master programs? This is one part, and second. Uh, do you know anything about, uh, like, uh, is it easy to get a scholarship to study in Shanghai University for international students? For example, if we have students who want to study in Shanghai University in a master program, would it be hard for them to get a scholarship? Or uh, maybe you don't know, but if you know something, please comment about it. Uh, for, for this question, I, I have some ideas because... Um, my former girlfriend is also an international student. Uh, she's from uh, South Korea. And uh, once, she, once she uh, came to China uh, to study, um, one day uh, she told me that uh, I need to uh, take my money from the university. Uh, I was shocked at that time. What money? Um, she told me that a uh, scholarship. Um, the scholarship. Um, I, I, I said at that time, yeah, the scholarship with Chinese students also have also have this uh, scholarships. Um, how much uh, is your scholarship? Uh, she told me um, 20,000 RMB. I mean, 20,000 RMB is it's really high for, for us Chinese students. Uh, yeah, uh, it's really high for, um, uh, uh, for international students. Uh, and um, but but I think I think just for my opinion, she is not good at study, but she can easily get this scholarship, a very high scholarship. Yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah, and I want to add something that is, uh, actually we have lots of English only classes. Uh, you, as we have introduced, um, eighty percent of professors in our school has the experience of uh, learning abroad or working abroad. So everyone has a good command, have a good command of English. Uh, and actually, uh, last semester we all we are all forced to take the our English courses like uh, corporate finance, which also wants uh, us like local students to improve our command of English. Uh, and uh, as I know, uh, the foreign students in our school will take classes together and uh, our school will uh, cite many English only courses only for them. So I think they don't need to worry about their life. Uh, in in China and in Shanghai University, and uh, every foreign student will be offered a, a tutor there. Uh, like our tutor has uh, some foreign stu students, and we will meet them during our mentor. <laughs> yeah, so I think uh, it's possible for foreign students to get a bachelor or master's degree. Yeah, and it's and it's easy for international students to get a scholarship. Yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. In China. Demand, so, um, this is really, this is really uh, like a catchy point. Uh, so please, uh, while we enjoyed the presentation and uh, honest answers by our presenters, uh, the audience you should be more active. Uh, because I think uh, the presentation was very good and uh, informative. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, take your time now to ask them, because otherwise we will let our uh, exchange students to go study <laughs> their own classes. So <laughs> it's the right time to go ahead and ask if you are interested to know anything. Uh, that's uh, like... Uh, uh, the only chance, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're afraid to ask. Uh, while we are, while we wait, uh, if someone asks any question, I wanted to ask you: like, is it a true story that you can uh, pay everywhere with your smartphone and uh, or even your face and never use a, a real credit card or cash when you are in Shanghai? Yeah, it's true. Of course, we we just need to take our cell phone when, that, when we <laughs> hang out. Yeah, we can pay everything through through our cell phone, and we can also take buses, take metros. 
all everything through our just you using our cell phones so i think it's really convenient uh i still cannot get used to the cards here because <laughs> I, I think i will lose it someday <laughs> yeah. this is really cool because i always thought it is some kind of a myth uh, that uh, uh, people only pay to each other and even exchange cash with this uh, instant transfers only using their iPhones and the QR codes, but um, it's quite interesting. Okay, uh, I think uh, it was really a good presentation, both of them, and uh, uh, a great uh, video. And um, I think you presented very well your university. And uh, I'm sure we are only waiting when your university opens, <laughs> actually, because uh, I don't know if uh, the uh, participants of this meeting know or not, but uh, at the moment uh, we are still not able to nominate the students, uh, but we are really waiting for it. Is all education based in English or Chinese also can be relevant for studying there? If yes, which level of uh, Chinese is necessary? Could you please comment? Can you study in some with having some level of Chinese? Oh, yeah. Oh, we have classes and we have uh, majors for all English teaching majors. Uh, if you don't know even a little bit Chinese, it, it's also okay. And you can take part in these classes and uh, this, uh, this majors, uh, all English teaching. And uh, it, but I think it's better for you to learn a little Chinese uh, when you arrive at Ch when you arrive in China. Uh, for HSK, uh, I think it's, uh, HSK four HSK four is enough uh, to get the permission uh, to get into uh, Shanghai University. Yeah, HSK four. Yeah, and uh, and the professors of our courses in or in English and in Chinese are the same. So if you take the same courses, uh, well, uh, no matter whether it's in English or it's in Chinese, the what you are learning is the same, and the professors are the same. The like learning materials is directly translated from Chinese to English and the professors will go to uh, will, will have take classes for in international students so I think it, it's it, it's the same yeah yep yeah. okay thank you very much for the time and uh, uh, we have uh, I think uh, uh, fulfilled our agenda and uh, all our plans and uh, i wish everyone good weather and a uh, very nice evening and uh, have a nice study in moscow and uh, uh, those who attend today maybe have plans now to visit uh, china and uh, shanghai university for studying and exchanges Thank you very much for your time and uh, very good uh, comprehensive presentation. Uh, so, thank uh, you. I wish thank you, you for your precious me. time. And, and yeah. we're really enjoying HSE, enjoying Moscow City. Yeah. yeah, and welcome to Shanghai University. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, very good, very good. Uh, I hope you have a good time in Moscow and good luck with the uh, exams and uh, intermediate exams and uh, and uh, final exams and so on. Thank okay, you. everyone, have a nice evening and uh, see you on our other events. And uh, it was a pleasure to have you today. See you. Bye bye. See you. See have you. a nice evening.